Welcome to Life Extension's monthly ingredient spotlight. Today we're going to talk about free curcuminoids and resolvents. I'm Dr. Michael Smith, the Director of Education and Spokesperson for the company. So let's talk about making curcumin better. Free curcuminoids provide health benefits. At the end of the day, um, when you look at turmeric, the key compounds are the curcuminoids, which curcumin, curcumin is one of the, the most common curcuminoids. We want free curcumin. We want free curcuminoids to get into our system because the more of those free curcuminoids we get into our body, the, the, the most likely the greater health benefit we will experience. See, there's a problem with standard curcumin supplements and it's called intestinal conjugation. When you, you know, over here to the left, when you swallow a curcumin capsule, your intestines, um, conjugated. Uh, what all that means is, is is your intestinal cells add compounds to it to form a new one. So in, in, for instance, you could add sulfate and get curcumin sulfate. And these types of conjugated curcumins do not get into your system as well as free curcumin does. If you look to the left here, <clears throat> free curcumin is the active form um, the, the free curcuminoids is, is what we really want into, uh, to get into our system. They permeate membranes and they cross the blood-brain barrier and they demonstrate powerful biological activity. On the other hand, conjugated curcumins like cur curcumin sulfate, for instance, just not, not going to penetrate tissues as well. Um, <clears throat> they are most more susceptible to elimination in the GI tract. So what we've been trying to do at Life Extension is to figure out how can we protect free curcumins, free curcuminoids from conjugation. So that way you are, you're going to absorb many more free curcumins into your system if we could block that conjugation process. And this is how we came up with the solution. It's curcumin plus galactomannins. Um, again, here you have your uh, turmeric, which is about 40% of the curcuminoids. These are the guys we want, free curcuminoids into our system. They make uh, the, About 3% of the turmeric is, are the tamarones, the oils. Uh, fenugreek, it's an herb similar to clover. It contains about 30% galactomannins, which are polysaccharides. When you, when you take the, the turmeric or the curcumin, with the galactomannins from fenugreek, you're going to protect the curcumin from undergoing conjugation. Galactomannins protect curcuminoids. It forms what is known as the CGM complex. So here's kind of a <clears throat> picture that represents it. Here you have different um, uh, conjugation reactions and if you don't have the galactomannins in your system, that conjugation is going to hook onto the curcuminoids and produce inactive metabolites and eliminate them, like curcumin sulfate. But the galactomannins, when added from the fenugreek seeds, protect the curcuminoids from those uh, conjugation reactions, allowing more free curcumin to get into your system. Now, here was a study, a randomized, double-blind, crossed-over over trial in 50 healthy adults. They were given 1,000 milligrams of the extract called Curcumin Elite. That's your curcumin plus the fenugreek seeds, the, uh, the, um, the, glucose, uh, the galactomannins, right? Curcumin plus the galactomannins. Um, or they were given 441 milligrams of a generic 95% standardized curcumin. And the measured outcome was the plasma concentration of free curcuminoids. And this is a wonderful graph to see here. So in the bright yellow is the new curcumin with the uh, fenugreek seeds. The orange um, line is your standard 95% curcumin. And it's very clear to see that from time zero when you, when the supplements were taken all the way through 12 hours that this new curcumin extract with the fenugreek seeds which is protecting the curcumin from conjugation significantly increases the amount of free 
curcuminoids in your system. As a matter of fact, there was a 45.5 fold increase. That's huge. 45.5 times increase in total free curcuminoids in the plasma versus standardized turmeric powder. More than 70% of the total curcuminoids are in the active free form five hours after dosing, which is pretty powerful. So more free curcuminoids, more health benefits from this powerful spice. This has been studied. This new extract has extensive research. Here I'm showing you one, two, three, four, five randomized controlled trials looking at um, the new curcumin that is protected from conjugation versus older formulations. You can see the top one right here is what I just showed you, 45.5 fold increase in free curcuminoids. Um, we have another study here showing a reduction in oxidative stress, symptoms of anxiety, stress and fatigue, and a better quality of life with the new formula versus curcumin 95, safe and well tolerated. And even a study on arterial stiffness, cardiovascular disease risk, and even um, liver function. So a well-studied extract showing, showing a powerful, significant increase in free curcuminoids into your system, allowing for more curcumin health benefits. This is the newest evolution in curcumin supplements. Now, most of us know that one of the key reasons we take curcumin is because of its anti-inflammatory properties, um, and w which is one of the key things we want to reduce w w with anybody, right? You know, reducing chronic inflammation, hands down, is a is a foundational strategy for all aging adults. Period. And one of the things we have to realize is when we do take things like curcumin and fish oil, etc all of these wonderful natural anti-inflammatories, that there needs to be also a repair process that occurs after the inflammation is starting to calm down. And we call this resolving inflammation. It's the, it's the post-inflammatory response. So if you want to suppress inflammation, you might do things like omega-3 fish oils. You might do something like curcumin especially that new extract we just talked about. And all that's great. But what about helping the body to actually resolve and repair? That's what we're talking about with resolvins. Supporting the resolution phase of inflammation. We want to help remove debris and invaders. We then want to store, restore balance, and renew damaged tissue. You know, it's good to bring down the inflammatory response in somebody with chronic inflammation, that's always good. But there's damage that's been done, tissue damage that's occurred. We're not in homeostasis. So it's important that we also help the body to um, resolve the inflammation. And here's how kind of the body does it. When you supplement with, say, EPA, or even and or DHA, those omega long chain omega threes will get into your system. We do know that they can inhibit enzymes like COX and LOX, right? That's going to decrease pro-inflammatory cytokines. EPA and DHA will also re, uh, cause the release of anti-inflammatory acosinoids uh, like prostaglandin E3, a very powerful anti-inflammatory cytokine. They also will inhibit other pro-inflammatory cytokines. So all that's great. All of this is going to be decreasing inflammation. That's wonderful. But now we also have to help the body to resolve. It turns out that these omega fats can also produce what are called pro-resolving lipid mediators. We call them resolvins protectins, and um, mericins. These compounds, these mediators, come from the breakdown of the omega fats. So you can see here, EPA and DHA can break down into 18-HEPE, 
17 HDHA or 14 HDHA. These are your pro resolving mediators that then help the body to repair and renew tissue. The problem is, is as we get older, we do not produce these pro resolving lipid mediators as well as we did when we were younger. We get very little when we supplement, when we eat fish or when we supplement. Uh, with a fish oil um, supplement, the amount of pro-resolving lipid mediators that we get as we get older with each decade of life goes down significantly. So what we want to do at Life Extension is to supply these pro-resolving mediators. And here's just kind of another breakdown of some of, the, some of them. Um, EPA and DHA. EPA can break down into 18 HEPE. That's called a resolvin. DHA can produce 17 and 14 HDHD. These are resolvent and protectins. Um, by, at the end of the day, it's these compounds right here. These compounds are the ones that help to resolve inflammation and renew and restore healthy tissue. We do not make these in any large quantity as we get older. So we want to we supply the body with these with these resolving mediators. So Life Extension really thinks that a powerful combination of products is to take the fish oil, take the new curcumin that we're talking about with that 45-fold increase in free curcuminoids and then combine it with these resolvents, these, these mediators that are going to be that are going to help the body to resolve in a post-inflammatory response. It's really kind of completing the pathway here, easing inflammation and then providing the mediators to resolve and repair. Life Extension is, is putting together a family of products with, with our anti-inflammatory um, ingredients with these resolving mediators. I want to thank everybody for watching today. I'm Dr. Mike. Take care.